Capricorn, my amazing, awesome Capricorn. How y'all doing? I just got a really great channeling for you. We're going to dive right on in here, y'all. Okay. Capricorn, you are, you are doing you, not against love, sex, or relationships, but really focused on your work and psychic abilities. I'm seeing Natalie Artesian, a psychic tarot reader on YouTube. Wonderful. Check her out, y'all. Um, so Capricorn, you are an entrepreneur, right? You're very self-disciplined and you randomly happened upon my, my channel. Welcome. Thank you for watching. And you really need to get late. Okay. That's what I'm hearing here. Um, Okay, not need, but you're getting very uptight and angsty, all right? Now, in ancient Japan, samurai healers would prescribe sex to relax one's soul, to calm their being and focus their sword, which also means soul and spirit. Now, it's pretty much like that. They, they would prescribe that. There's a um, the TV show on FX called Shogun. Watch it. Check it out. It'll make so much sense to you. It was just 111 on the clock. But I thought, what an amazing read. You're really focused on, are you a psychic reader like me? Are you doing your pages? And you usually don't even watch them anymore, but for some reason you wanted to watch this. Hey, hey, thank you, thank you. I'm glad we can communicate. If it is Natalie, oh my goodness, N-A-T-L-E, -E, Natalie. I mean, what's up? How you doing? All right. Anyways, um, I want to find out more about your love life and sex life here. I think you're a Capricorn. I know from experience, uh, January 17th. So I know success is what we do. That's not an issue, not a problem. Our discipline, our focus, our drive, beautiful. That's why we are, uh, <laughs> some people think we're the devil for that, but we're not. We're the goat. We're strong. We climb up straight up mountains like nothing here. Yes, Arnold's not a Capricorn, I don't think. But let's do this. I'm going to go to some of my own homemade cards just to get a little deeper into this channeling here, Capricorn. Capricorn! Let's do this one more time. I'm going to shuffle uno mas. All right. Right off the top, they call me Mr. Tibbs. Yes. Immediately, I'm getting in heart. We are following our passion, but I don't think we're really listening to our heart. Because I'm also getting, they call me Mr. Tibbs. Meaning you're you're so in your work. You're so you're not blocked, but you're just very disciplined. You're in your focus. Um, you don't let people talk to you in a certain way, which is great. Um, and again, not that you you're you're okay, but you want love. Everybody wants love and sex from everybody, right? I get it. I get it. This is for men, men, women, women, everyone watching, okay? But you're very again. You're, I'm getting just this discipline that you have. You're very focused. Right? Some of you feel like you're not, but you really are. You're like kind of a Keanu type, right? But when you get it done, you get it done, okay? I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. Spades. You're like a Brando. We heard this earlier as well. Um, like I said, when you get it done, you get it done. Doesn't mean you, you work all the time. For for there's a there's a group of Capricorns here. You are man. You are disciplined. You are focused. You are driven. And there are an, another group here or an individual. You are, but you know like when to take the right steps. It's not like you're you're, you're you know nose the grindstone here. And I'm getting that you're also a brilliant. I'm getting Marlon Brando sitting there in front of the producers who they weren't going to cast him. They wanted him, but they didn't know if they could insure him because he was a bit of a wild card. But he sat there and he just started to put the black uh, shoe polish in his hair and take the cotton balls and put them in his mouth. And he said, I'm going to make him off and he couldn't refuse. And they were like, oh, my goodness. How can we not? This is you're the one. No one else is going to do it like you, Capricorn. I'm not sure if Marlon Brando is a Capricorn. Look that up. Let me know in the uh, the comments, y'all. Um and I'm hearing right now, like, I'm, I'm seeing Marlon Brando, but I always see him. I see him as Stanley Kowalski. I talk to him a lot, mediumship, especially acting stuff. He wants me to live life a little bit more. Is it a risk? Not risk, but what? Relax and live a bit more. He's telling me personally, and maybe for us as well, he's like, don't always focus on your physique, Pat. You're always in shape. You know that. I'm just used to being like 5% body fat all the time. And he's saying it's kind of kept you from things, but also it's protected you from things. So we get that. 
But he also likes showing himself to me as, as an older Brando, where he's heavier. And he goes, it doesn't matter. You're a brilliant, uh, uh, I'm hearing actor, but you're brilliant at what you do, Capricorn. You are brilliant. I think someone is going to be making you an offer. Maybe in love, maybe in sex, huh? Your business. That's really what you're hoping on right there, isn't it? Yes, it's going to happen. It is going to happen. And they're going to see that you are the one. Uh, I'm getting paranormal shows or um, I thought I saw an orb, but it was a something else. Um, like a ghost adventures or something like that. Something like that. But also maybe your own show, your own channel. Maybe you're an actor as well. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Y'all welcome. Thank you. Wow. We got double Brando. Notice I, I shuffle these like crazy. I could have been a contender. I could have been a contender, right? I have the infinity symbol right here. Strength. Excuse me. As above, so below. I'm also seeing, I'm not going to pull this card, but I was drawn to it over here. It says, what we have here is a failure to communicate. I'm, I'm getting Paul Newman. That's like what we are here. Okay. We're a Brando. We're a Paul Newman. We're, we're these stars. We're the star. You know that. You already know that, Capricorn. I could have been a contender. You're, you're, you're thinking of the past. You think you've lost. Like Some of you are... I, I'm there with you as well on that. But um, you haven't lost a thing. Right? You're just analyzing the past. you got to, you got to understand your history to really progress in the future, right? And maybe it was in a relationship. Maybe it was in life. Maybe we got hurt. Uh, business. Things like that. You'll learn from it. Right? You're ascending, you're moving on. We're always learning, we're always adapting, we're always ascending, right? And and maybe you got in this energy where you look back going, I could have been, I could have been, I could have been. I don't know, you are. You are. All right. Again, you do this amazing thing putting the the you know the uh shoe polish in your hair. And also, I believe Brando won an Academy Award for on the waterfront. A lot of acting stuff here, guys. I love it. You're you're gonna go big. I mean, huge. My like international superstar. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Capricorn. That sounds about right, right? Remember, Jim Carrey, Muhammad Ali, they're Capricorns as well. I'm, gonna, I'm going with it. I'm going with the sex fortune cards here. You're very patient during love as well. Not just in love, but in life. You have moments of fire. You could call that devil energy if you want. Um, don't mistake your determination with ambition. Okay, you have ambition, but you're you're you're, you're driven. You're focused. You have a great drive. Ambition doesn't need to be a part of it because it's already going to happen. And ambition, I'm getting greed. And I'm, I'm not saying that you're greedy, but we all want more money, right? I want millions. You know. I, and I'll tell you why I want millions. Maybe this is why you want. Let me know in the comments, y'all. I want to be able to do what I want, however I want, whenever I want. I want to travel the world. I am going to travel the world. I am doing whatever I want, when I want, whoever I want. And filming it and sharing it with the world. You know? Like if I want, I'm going to live in... You notice how I'm rewording this. I'm going to live in um, New Zealand for like six months at a time. Or Australia another couple months at a time. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be amazing. This is a 10 of, of flesh swords. We're not going to pull this. We don't want to pull it, but we want me to talk about it. Um, fuck it. We're going to pull it. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to set this here. I'm going to shuffle one more time. All right. All right. All right. All right. So I'm going to do this and show you all. Boom. So... Ten of flesh swords, new beginnings, right? Things have ended, but something new is coming in. Work-wise, of course, something about the work is going to bring in a wonderful relationship, sex life, wonderful sex life. Could be Caucasian, doesn't have to be. Blonde and a brunette. Well, brown hair like mine. Hey, what's up? How you doing? And we just said New Zealand, Australia, things like that. So next to the water, you guys will be... You're not afraid of being who you are. You're not afraid of being stripped naked. And and maybe you, maybe you guys are um, new beach and stuff like that. Um, please know that those are pedophiles, like 
homing ground because there's families or things like that. And please know when I have to hear those things, I got to say them. I don't see that happening with you all. But note too, the clouds are very sunny. It's very cloudy, but it's not. The sun is kind of going down with these mountains, but so much love, so much confidence, so much is shining. It's shining through the clouds. The sun is going down, but it's very romantic. This could be the past for some of you all. And the 10, that means new things are coming. That means an 11 is coming in over here. I'll probably, I've been pulling three cards, but I'll probably pull four for this one. So you get a little bonus card. Oh, ho, ho. this is about right, Capricorn. I think I can show this. I have to cover her tatas. Hermit, right? And what it is, the guy's there on his own, but you're not alone. I think you guys are going to experiment a lot. And this is more of a current energy. Fun, though, that you guys are into it. You're into watching each other. Nothing wrong with doing it on the own, but on your own, but. I'm getting some voyeur kinky things here because the window is open here. There's purple curtains, right? That's your crown chakra. A maroon purplish blanket. I'm getting, you know what I'm getting to with this hermit mode? In a relationship you're going to get here that's going to happen. You guys are going to spend a lot of time in bed together. Vacation as well. I've been getting that a lot. This is more of a hotel than, than anything, but you're not afraid. You have the windows open. Again, you're not afraid to be who you were born to be, right? I have my purple here going. Um, very spiritual color purple. Look that up, put it in the comments for me, Capricorn. A lot of sex vibes. Mixed couple here. Again, a redhead, kind of a brunette redhead. These two are into playing games with each other too. Capricorn, you're so naughty. I like it. But it's fun, it's a lot of fun. A lot of romance. That's what I'm getting to with this past, this 10 of uh, flesh swords. A lot of romance here. Outside, inside, upside, downside. You know, it's all over. 12, 12 on the clock. Woo! I'm going to have to do, I'll do this. I'll do this. The empress. You're being treated like an empress. The empress you are. Men watching too, you can be an empress. It's all good. Um, again, it's an energy of healing, of, of compassion. And we have a same-sex couple here. And this could be men, men, women, women as well. The feed new grapes, Dionysus, thank you. Uh, uh, God of fertility, wine, theater, the harvest. Thank you, Dionysus, thank you. And it's something new too. It's like sturdy and strong to so the trees in the background, uh, but they're not really big, long trees. I might be uh, two in one right there. Don't mind my Roomba, y'all, knocking us around here. But it's really a lot of confidence, a lot of yellow, a lot of yellow. Remember you saw that first card with all the yellow and confidence? This one has a lot of yellow, greenery. I love that the guy, cause check it out here. In this past picture is the guy by himself but the girl's watching. But like, ooh, he, lo he loves treating you like a, like, a, like a goddess, like a queen. Mm, he bends the knees for you. Because ladies, you do that as well with it. Great, it's a great uh, combination here, a great mix. Nothing like, um, you might want to watch the Pisces reading as well. And maybe the Scorpio reading as well. There's some past energy in there that may resonate with y'all. I'm going to pull one more card too, uh, as I dodge my, my Roomba under my feet here, for a bonus card. And we have the Nine of Sex Wands. Yes. Same couple. It's the same couple in the card. Talk about the trees here. Again, I'll have to cover this a bit look at those trees look at that that is not only phallic and long right lasting a long time but yes it, it is time the trees right have lasted throughout time they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger this is a great relationship it's gonna last a long long time and you guys are very in sync with one another these different positions you're, you love trying them and doing them nine is also uh, Something was ending, but, but it's also new beginnings. Kind of like a cycle come back, because we started with a 10. But it's really the trees that I'm seeing here. Yeah, very long trees, very long trees.
but very stable. Remember, the, the bigger a tree gets, the older a tree is, the, the more grounded it is, right? The more foundation it has, the more comfortable you are with one another. And I'm not getting stagnant comfortable, like come home from work and we're like, no, it's like comfortable. You guys come up with ways and it's creative. Getting like you, someone who does like a Nerf game, like you put a Nerf, um, you know, gun out, outside the apartment or house and they're like, and you leave a sign that's like, I'm hiding inside. Come get, you know, something like that. Like, but also kinky stuff like that too, which is fun. It's like, I see you guys at work being disciplined and great, but also coming up with these little things to do to and for each other. Um, and you like write them down, like you, you storm, brainstorm these ideas to try to surprise one another. It's really great. Uh, not prank, but it, it's like a sexy, fun relationship. It's good times, right? I'm really, I might pull some extra little cards here, y'all. These are the Mana, Mana, right? Manara. Been saying that wrong the whole time. Manara, um, Light the Manara. Yes, because I've been saying it wrong. Thank you. Did I, did I do the, uh, I don't remember what, what reading I did the uh, light the menorah on it, but that's what they were, we were trying to say the right word to me because I've been saying menar, menea, menea or something. Thank you, spirit guides. You gotta love them. We're gonna shuffle this. Gotta love me. I'm the baby. That's a big time channeling for us. Let's do one more. We're gonna shuffle one more. All right. Loving this. You might want to watch, um, ooh, which what were those? Reading, we'll get to this card, you know, I promise. You might want to watch the Libra, Gemini, Cancer, or Leo reading as well, because this card popped up. 10 of Earth. Again, very Capricorn energy here, right? Sexy, confident. You're happy, you're good on your own, right? You're like, I don't need no man, I don't need no woman, right? I take myself out on a date. Um, reading your book, working, having a glass of wine. Again, I'm getting more of a past energy, but it's good to know that you can keep you know, yourself entertained, right? Are you not entertained? You're very high class too, I'm getting, this is great. Someone I'm getting is too is, is in the city, Maybe in Paris? Let me know. Let me know in the comments, y'all. Woo! The Queen of Fire! Yes! And you know what? Knowing yourself, knowing thyself, and being confident to be on your own like this, really... Oh no, this is... I thought there was another person here. It's not. This is you. Oh man, I can't show this. I'm gonna do this. Okay. Now, if you can't get the full image, her fingers are right with her vagina. So she's, uh, good for you. You know what's funny? This card is landing right under the hermit card where the guy was. So it's like back and forth with each other. Are you thinking of one another? Are you thinking of it? Are you thinking of it right now? Are you thinking of me? Stop it, you. But it's sexy and beautiful and... There's some people, it looks like, in the back. I think there's spirit guides. Don't be afraid of that, y'all. Because they're kind of in the shadowy, and it looks like one has a hat. You do you. You're very spiritual. You're very psychic. Being comfortable and free with your sexuality, with, with just who you are, and not lusting, not lustful energy, but real powerful sexual energy. You know what's funny? This is the same person. She's wearing the same outfit in each card. Right, she's wearing that white dress here. Like you're good. You're you've been. You know what? Not only are you good on your own, you've been doing this on your own for a while now, Capricorn. But I see it changing, and not in a bad way. You're very confident, which is great. Ooh, wait a second. Nope. It came out upside down, but that's only because I picked the whole deck up upside down. the seven of air again by yourself but again your spirit guides are all around you i pulled this card the other day too i can't show her bum she's kind of flashing her bum at everyone 
right? Again, this is more spirit guides, but you're just so open and free. I think you're going to go, you like skinny dipping? Let me know in the comments, y'all. Air sign. I think an air sign's coming in for you. I think this might be the other person. That's why this matches so well. What's that? It's not that exactly, but knowing that the air energy is very important. And you're so free and confident. I know there's a lot of women in the cards, guys watching. It's just more feminine energy. Um, also, very masculine energy. I mean, look at these. Those are very masculine energies as well. Great card. Again, you guys are on a, uh, you're in a city near the water. I'm getting Sydney, Chicago, even Manhattan, but I'm not really getting Manhattan right here. And if you are, let me know in the comments, y'all. Please, please, please. What a, what a, awesome. I want to do one more here, team. One more with, with a stack of cards. I'm not even going to shuffle it or anything. Okay, this is a, this is something I love. And again, I'm definitely going to have to cover up these. I can do this, I think, yeah. Ten of diamonds. Right there, can you guys see that? Ten of diamonds. 21-12 on the clock, y'all. And an octopus. Very spiritual animal right there. They're geniuses. They're smart. I'm getting um, resident alien. I believe they are galactic beings. They're incredibly intelligent, the octopus. I'm getting seafood, but again, by the ocean, by the water. Yes, you love seafood. Octopus, I'm sorry. They're like, we get it, we're a spirit guide, we, we keep going. But the 10 of diamonds, not only new beginnings, but new beauty. You're in that water, you're swimming, you're cleansing, you're free. You've stripped this old energy off, like a, like a snake, calm down for everyone with the reptilian, but no, like this energy, you shed this skin. This is your money. Ooh, your money. Not only do you shine bright, but your money is going to be amazing, is amazing. That's part of that new beginnings because you've become so open with your, with not only sexuality, but you. there's this great balance. Um, and you and your partner are going to be so open. You might write books about this, actually. A sexpert is what I'm hearing. But like a couple sex bird, let me know in the comments, y'all. All right, Capricorn, I'm going to leave it right there for y'all. Please like, share, and subscribe. Till next time. I right, love you guys. Love you, love you.